Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this video is specially for all those students, all those candidates who are very confident that they are going to get admission into National Institute of Homeopathy and they are preparing their uh, documents. So uh, which all documents you need to bring along with you. Okay, and all the documents you need to bring <coughs> original and plus two photocopies that should be attested to your own attest. Uh, it should be signed by you. Okay. So two sets you need to bring of all those documents which I am going to read now. Number one thing you need to bring is a DD which will be of admission fees. It is 47,400 rupees admission fees which should be in favor of the director of National Institute of Homeopathy and it will be payable at Kolkata. So one DD from any nationalized bank. Another DD is, one DD is for admission fee, another, another DD or demand draft is for application fees and application fees is 1000 rupees and it will be same in favor of the director. Okay, these two uh, are very important, you need to bring them along with you without fail. And because they are not going to accept any cash, any UPI payment, any sort of check is not accepted all you need to bring is only demand draft or dd after this you have to bring a, a bond a bond of rupees 1 lakh which should be made on a stamp paper notarized stamp paper or 100 rupees stamp paper and on that uh, that should be a bond of 1 lakh rupees and what should be the format or the performer of that bond that has been given uh, on the official website of National Institute of Homeopathy. I can give you the link down into the description. You can check it out. Then uh, another important document is undertaking. Undertaking all the this format of this document, you can find it into the uh, bulletin given by uh, this <coughs> counseling. And um, if not, you can get it at the official website of NIH. Both uh, the link I will give you in the description. So, number two DD, hmm? one bond, then one undertaking. Undertaking by parents and undertaking by student. Two undertaking should be there. Then you need to produce caste certificate if you belong to ST or SC category. And also if you belong to OBC category, caste certificate should be produced. But that caste certificate should be issued after 31st of <coughs> March. 31st of March. Okay, third twenty. Then after that, non creamy layer certificate. Then if you belong to the category of PWD, physical uh, disability certificate, you need to produce. Then you need to bring Aadhaar card. Then confirmation page, which you can download from the website once you get allotment of your college. After that, you need to bring admit card of AIPGT, result page of AIPGT then nationality certificate and if you are not having nationality certificate you can bring your passport or if not passport then domicile certificate if not domicile certificate then birth certificate can also be given and after that online offer letter you need to bring then after that 10th 10th standard admit card okay listen very carefully that you need to bring admit card of 10th standard as well as 12th standard okay so 10th standard admit card passing certificate and mark sheet same for 12th admit card passing certificate and mark sheet after that you need to bring conduct come character certificate okay bona fide certificate is not enough you need to bring a character certificate from your previous college then you need to bring a transfer certificate then all the mark sheets of first to final bhms then passing certificate and if you have uh, completed your internship and you didn't got any if you have your degree you can bring the degree you can produce the degree if not you can give your passing certificate okay and uh, internship completion certificate you need to give attempt certificate attempt certificate can be made from your college where they write that in how many attempt you have passed your exam bhms exam so that will you can get from your college then Registration certificate, you, if you have already registered with your, your state, uh, you know, uh, state council and uh, even if you have registered with your state council or even if central council, you need to register with West Bengal University and uh, 
no need to worry if you don't have registration with west bengal university you're coming from some other state because because you will get time even after admission to for to get registered into west bengal university okay so don't no need to worry about that and then you need to produce migration certificate migration certificate usually get uh, takes time if you have applied now or you, uh, if you apply it usually takes time so you need to uh, you can give an application and uh, you can submit it like uh, within a month then if you have uh, educational gap you need to produce that certificate and uh, medical fitness certificate that is important and after that an affidavit uh, that you have not taken admission previously for md in any other college after that fourth passport size photograph you need to give and you need to give anti ragging uh, this uh, uh, what you call on a stamp paper bond you need to give anti ragging so these are all the documents uh, which you need to bring along with you when you come to take admission into national institute of homeopathy bring all the original documents as well as two sets of photocopies xerox all this document make two sets two different sets and sign it that it should be self attested and this three set that is one original so uh, uh, all the original documents and two sets of photocopy you need to submit it into the institute and you will get all your original documents after 3 years so that's why you need to uh, keep a few copies for yourself also okay remember this so that is all and don't worry don't panic if you uh, are not having any of the document important is to dd and your uh, confirmation letter and your result of uh, aipgt and a mark sheet of first to final year and if some uh, document for example like the migration certificate or any uh, you know affidavit if you by chance if uh, it is not uh, you are not able to produce it you will get time for it okay time will be given and you have to uh, you know give an undertaking that you will um, submit all those documents like within a uh, given span of time so don't worry and uh, these are all the documents which you need to produce bring it along with yourself and i will give you uh, in the description box a link of the website you can go there and check all the performance and in that form it only you need to produce all the certificates okay and if still you have any doubts any queries you can always dm me on instagram or comment down below so that was all for today hopefully this video will be very helpful for you all So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.